Here's, sure. here's the thing. Hopefully we can agree that the problem is with extremes. Yes. Extreme anything. Yes. Extreme left is as vicious and as as far right. Yep. It's, you know, the middleness of it all that makes America great. And For Texas sure. has been front and center of that forever. I think a, a big part of it, though, is how much does your government control you? Even when things don't even make sense. Like, in California, they made flavored vapes illegal. Can you imagine? You're yeah. Like, Strawberry mist is our number one That was problem. fine, but they it let it also hurt black people in that it counted menthol as a flavor and hurt Newport. So you can't sell menthol cigarettes in California. Right. They that have their own cigarettes. They have non-menthol Newports. It's terrible. Why do black people like menthol so much? What's that about? <clears throat> it's a totally different type of cigarette. You're going to get me canceled. No. Um, this is very racist, this is conversation, even, even though neither of us are. Go figure. Just talking about a type just, of cigarette just that people saying, enjoy? Just saying, why do black people like Newport so much? And a black, and a cigarettes. black person actually getting ready to answer this? Oh, it's terrible on all ends. Um, I don't think it is. Well, I don't think it is either because yeah. we have a, a new It's like if you started asking me about spaghetti, I'm not going to get offended. If you started asking me about Italian food or why, why are Italian people so loud? I'm not going to get How offended. How many people have ever died of pasta-related illnesses? <laughs> a lot, Joe. A lot of fatsos out there <laughs> kicking the bucket, that's, bro. That's not because of pasta. <laughs> that's an overabundance of carbohydrates, <laughs> They sir. were going to be fat wherever they lived, <laughs> sir. Maybe. That's an over. <laughs> going to be great bread eaters in Delicious high-carbohydrate food. They couldn't stop it. People are addicted to food like they're addicted to anything. And if there's a thing that I could ever be addicted to, it's that. Right. That's <laughs> all of us, though. All of us. And what a blessing. Yeah, we have so much. Starving people are addicted exactly. to anything, and they don't have food-related illnesses. Exactly. exactly. But back to where we were. Yeah. You were asking the me about, the, the, right. about just, the menthol cigarettes. Oh, that's right. And, and the answer is um, we value strength in product. So... There's this whole thing with liquor and malt liquor and the difference between the two. And one is richer and stronger. Uh, and, um, the more potent version. Right. And as, okay, that makes as sense. a people, we tend to go with those products. Things that are uh, stronger. That makes sense. Right. Like before things were called concentrate. Yeah. That's what we appreciated. Mm, that makes sense. Concentrate. And the fact that um, menthol is a natural thing. So, you know, right. anybody who is from the South knows about mint plants and, you know. And menthol used always, as a skincare product, like yeah. injuries and shit. Right. Like you appreciate that as a flavor profile as well. Right. Mint, you know. That makes sense. The mint julep. It's just telling people they can't have that anymore. Who the fuck are you? That's well, my position. Well, and that's a, a noble position, and we appreciate the fact that you represent that. But the truth of the matter is not pretty. And the truth of the matter is that most people would like to be controlled more by their government if they to had. make it easier? Maybe. Most people are all for government control as long as they don't have to discuss it. Yeah, as long as it works in their favor, they'll give up a lot of rights. And then hopefully the next administration that's... Rights right are generally worthless at rights. the time. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that if the government can make life easier... A lot of people have it hard, right? So the government yeah. comes in and says, I'm going to make it easier for you, but I'm right. going to need certain requirements of you. I'm going to need you to have a digital ID. That digital ID will be attached to a social credit score. And we're going to give you universal basic income. You no longer have to worry about food or shelter. You'll be taken care of. And now you can pursue your dreams. 